Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. a moment, we will rejoin Sherlock Holmes and find out if his prophecy is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, your druggist is in a position to know cold-relieving preparations. He knows which are in demand. He knows which ones have proven themselves. So when thousands of druggists recommend bromoquinine cold tablets, when they say bromoquinine tablets are the largest sellers in their stores, it's the highest praise any product could receive. And that is exactly what has happened. In a recent survey conducted by one of America's leading research organizations and taken among over 2,000 American druggists, it was found that more than 87%, that's about 9 out of every 10, recommended bromoquinine tablets as an effective relief for cold misery. And in addition, a large majority of these druggists said bromoquinine was their largest selling cold tablet. So remember these facts, and at the first sign of a cold, get definitely proven bromoquinine cold tablets. Bromo, B R O M O. Quinine, Q U I N I N E. Bromoquinine cold tablets. I'm a perfect glutton. You should finish your breakfast a quarter of an hour ago. Mr. Holmes, I've heard that Miss Turner's father's in a bad way. The doctor says he can't last long. Really? Yes, McCarthy's death had a bad effect on him. They were old friends, you know. In fact, I've learned that he gave McCarthy the Hathaway farm rent-free. Really? Yes, he helped him in a hundred other ways, too. Does it strike you as a little singular that Mr. McCarthy, who is greatly obligated to Turner, should talk of marrying his son to Turner's heiress and in such a cocksure manner, knowing all the time that Turner was a burst for that? What do you deduce from that? Well, I should... Oh, well, here, here it is, Mr. Turner. Good morning, gentlemen. I trust I haven't kept you waiting. Not at all, my dear Miss Turner. Did you see James? How did he look? What did he say? Are they treating him badly? Not so fast, not so fast, my dear. One question at a time. What is sorry, Mr. Holmes, only I'm anxious. Quite. Uh, Dr. Watson and I had a most enlightening chat with your friend, Mr. James McCarthy. Oh. Uh, by the way, I, uh, I think you've misinterpreted it, the uh, young man's attitude towards your, your marriage. Mr. Holmes, do you mean... Do you think... I mean, does he really? <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, that's a matter I'm sure that he would rather discuss with you himself after he's released from prison. In the uh, meantime, suppose we get on with our fluting. This is the park, Mr. Holmes. That's back from pool over there. And these are the woods that came in. Hear me, Holmes. Just listen to that wind and those pines. How gloomy they look. Yes, Dr. Watson. The whole place seems to have taken on a sinister aspect since... Mr. McCarthy's death. What did the police go into the pool for? They fished about with a rake for the weapon. But how did you know? Footmarks vanishing into the reef and coming out again. Bah! They came like a herd of buffalo and wallowed all over the place. They blotted out all facts that there might have been around the body. No, no. Wait a minute. Here are three separate sets of facts belonging to the same foot. Just a minute, Roger. Smell into it. Hmm. As I thought. They're young McCarthy's feet. 
while she was walking, and once she ran swiftly so that the soles are deeply marked and the heels hardly, bi- hardly visible. That corroborates that part of his story. Yes, yes, get her the father's feet as he paces up and down. What's this? What's this? Ah, yes, 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 the butt of the gun as the son stood talking. And this? Ah, what have we here? Tiptoes, tiptoes, square toes, hear me, quite unusual boots. They come, they go, they come again. Of course, that was the cloak. Where do they lead us? Where do they lead us? Ah, yes, behind this tree. Ah. Uh-huh. Mr. Holmes, why are you crawling about among those leaves and dry sticks? What's that powder you're, you're putting into that envelope? Evidence, my dear Watson. Evidence, and last but not least, this stone, this large, jagged stone. Take a look at it, Watson. Looks like any other stone to me, Holmes. But not to me, Watson, not to me. This is the stone with which the murder was done. What? How do you know? The grass is growing under it. It's only been there a few days. Well, that is the end of our investigation. We shall be able to leave for London by the evening train. You... You've discovered the murderer? Decidedly. But, Tom, it's almost time for lunch. We mustn't detain Miss Turner any longer. Goodbye, then, Mr. Holmes. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Turner. Goodbye, Mr. Turner. I think I may promise you that everything will turn out for the best. I see the direction which it all points. The criminal is up. Mr. Don Turner, to see you, sir. Come in, come in. Come in, Mr. Turner. Got my note? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Sit down, please. I see you're not well. I sent for you rather than go to the hall and see a scandal. Very kind of you, Mr. Holmes. Much kinder than I deserve. I, I gather from your letter that you know about... Yes, Mr. Turner. I know all about McCarthy. God help us. I wouldn't have let the young man come to harm. I'd have spoken if the verdict went against him. I give you my word on that. I'm glad to hear you say so, Mr. Turner. I'd have spoken before if it had not been for my daughter. It would break my girl's heart when she hears that I'm arrested. It may not come to that. You you mean... I mean that I'm not an official agent. I'm here at your daughter's request. Young McCarthy must be got off, though, however. I'm a dying man, Mr. Holmes. Yet I'd rather die under my own roof than in jail. Now, suppose you just give us the facts. 
I shall jot them down and you can sign the paper. Then I can produce your confession as the last extremity to save young McCarthy. I promise you I shall not use it unless it is absolutely needed. Very well. I'll make the thing clear to you. You didn't know this dead man, McCarthy. He was a devil incarnate. It was in the early 60s out in Australia. I was young, hot-blooded, and careless. I got in with bad companions, lost my claim, and took to the bush and finally became a highway robber. Black Jack of Ballard, as they called me. One day, a gold convoy came down from Ballarat to Melbourne. That was a bad fight. It ended by my putting my pistol to the head of the wagon driver, who was this very man, McCarthy. I could have shot him, but I stared in the way. I saw his wicked little eyes fixed on my face as though to remember every feature. Well, later on, I, I left Australia and came back to England. In short, I turned over a new leaf, bought this place, and did my best to make up for the past. Then, one accursed day, I ran into McCarthy in London. He was down and out and demanded that I take care of him and his little son. Otherwise, he'd call a policeman. What could I do? I brought him down here. He's bled me for nearly 20 years until this talk of marriage came along. Then I rebelled. I refused to have my Alice bullied into anything like that. Well, we were to meet at the pool to talk it over. I overheard his nasty conversation to his son, and I saw that. My own life would soon be over. What did I to lose? I must save my good name and my girl. I must silence that foul tongue. I did it. I'd do it again. That's the true story, gentlemen. Give me the pen and I'll sign. Here you are. I will keep this confession. If McCarthy is condemned, I shall be forced to use it. If not, whether you be alive or dead, your secret shall be safe with us. Thank you, gentlemen. Goodbye and God bless you. A cruel, cruel fate, Watson. Yes, indeed. And yet, who are we to judge? Yes, who knows? There, but for the grace of God, go Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Fascinating story, Dr. Watson. And was James McCarthy acquitted? He was, Mr. Manning, he was. On the strength of the objections drawn up by Holmes and given to the defending counsel. Mr. Turner died within the year. And the two young people, did they get married? No, <laughs> you, you want the happy ending, eh? <laughs> yes, they were married. And their happiness was never, and or never was at any time, marred by any knowledge of the black cloud which rests upon their past. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what to do when you feel any sign of a cold. Here's what to do for prompt relief. Go right to your druggist and say, a package of bromoquinine cold tablets, please. Start taking the tablets right away. You'll be surprised at the promptness with which bromoquinine cold tablets go to work. You'll be amazed at the way they relieve a cold misery. Here are two very good reasons why they are so effective. First, they're made especially for the relief of cold misery. In other words, specialized medication. Second, bromoquinine tablets work internally. They help reduce the fever of a cold and have a gentle laxative action, often important in case of a cold. Yes, bromoquinine cold tablets can add a cold distress from the inside, which is what you want. Be businesslike in your treatment of a cold misery. Take a businesslike preparation. Bromoquinine cold tablets. Get these famous tablets at any drugstore for a few cents a box. Ask for Bromo, B-R-O-M-O, quinine, Q-U-I-N-I-N-E, Bromo quinine cold tablet. Now, Dr. Watson, what story are we to have next week? Not so fast, Mr. Manning, not so fast. Before we return next week, we shall all celebrate a day which commemorates peace and goodwill to men, a day which is doubly significant in these very troubled times. And so I'd like to wish all our good friends a stocking full of happiness and a very merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
And our sponsor adds his greetings and best wishes, and so do I. Uh, I'm sure you do, Mr. Manning. I'm sure you do. And, and now for next week. I've heard so much talk about this famous football game which occurs every New Year's Day in the Rose Bowl, but I thought it might be rather appropriate to tell you the adventure of the missing three-quarter. A football story? Yes, football, but, uh, but rugger, Mr. Manning, rugger. It tells how the star player of the Cambridge team was reported missing the day before the great Vasti match with us. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.